up, man? It's your boy Shaka 26 from Metal the Comic. Here we go with the new video, and today we're playing Mr. Ellen Franklin, who wants to kick my ass after this game because it was so intense, so crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and break down the whole entire game so you guys can see this nasty, crazy, insane comeback. But if you guys want to get some great competition, go to Madden Madness Group. It will be the link will be in the description on Facebook, and you can get a lot of good competition there, a lot of head-to-head -head matches like this. But anyways. Our opponent is the Jaguars. I am coming out with the Vikings. I explained in the last video why am I using the Vikings because the Vikings is actually a well-balanced team offensively, defensively, and uh, they could pass the ball and they could run the ball as well. Now look at this nasty trucking animation. That's why he's using the Jaguars. He loves to run the ball. He is more of a defensive mentality as in pressure because you could, could just sit on cover four all day the Jaguars and get that nasty block shot, especially in all Madden level compared to all pro. So right here, he's a definitely a heavy uh, run, uh, run heavy pr player. So if I manage to stop his run, that's basically what I want to do, stop his run, I could definitely have a chance to win the game. But right here, he gets a really nice juke moving. He scores a freaking touchdown, 7-0 in this game. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to establish a run. And I really like to stop my players in the first drive, because once I stop them in the first drive, that's pretty much it. If my opponent just kicks a field goal, I could definitely go on offense, and I could run the ball, and I could throw as well. But I cannot throw as good here in all pro level, and all Madden level compared to all pro, but I'll definitely get those little drag routes there to throw. And this is the reason why I hate all Madden. The safeties do jump that a lot and they uh, make it really hard to throw the ball actually. So that's why a lot of people in all Madden tend to be a lot more run first than pass first. All pro is like a more pass. It's a lot easier. Uh, zones get uh, beat pretty easy, especially in regs as you guys can see here. And we're trying to stop the run there. So we're sending a little bit more because he came out a couple of halfback draws. So we got the run stopper there set up. He comes out in a fullback dive, but everything's pretty much set because we are playing underneath coverage with the safety. So we're going to go ahead and lurk anything coming across the field here, here and added throws here with the post route coming across the field is really annoying. So I didn't expect that. I thought my linebackers would react to it. We make a fumble here. We don't recover. So he still, his manager just loves him right now. You know those times when Madden just loves the other guy and is giving him everything? That's him right now. Madden is just like, hey, here, here's the game. Come uh, beat Shocker, just beat him. And right here, he Allen has a really good juke moves. It looks like he's been practicing those moves with his running backs uh, throughout the year. And he gets a nice little pass right here to the tight end, little tight end dump for a touchdown. So. 14-0 in this game guys, so it's really annoying. He makes me fumble here and that's why you have to put ball carrier on conservative guys. Put it on conservative and there's less less, less likely, likely of a chance for you to fumble and I did and I forgot to put him on conservative. So we're trying to send the heat, trying to force him to throw a pick and right there I didn't get enough time to recover down the middle. I knew he was going to throw that little dump again, uh, the little... Uh, in route and then again he makes me fumble again i forgot to put him on conservative so big tip write this down so you won't forget like me put it on conservative guys put it on conservative so here we go he comes out with a little juke moves all over the place here and uh <laughs> He, he is about to score again, guys. It just, it's just insane, guys. Some of you guys probably think you never post your losses, Shock. You never post your losses any time. Yeah, I do post my losses, guys. So I'm losing right here 20 to 0 in this game. He throws a stupid dump again. That's three touchdowns on the same freaking play. I'm trying to adjust to it, and he got me there. Look at this freaking asshole, man. And he just, he's being an asshole. Now he wants to run up the score. He don't give a fuck. He's just going to say, hey, I'm going to score again. So 26 unanswered points. What am I going to do now? Am I going to quit the game? Well, guess what? This video is a little bit long, guys. So stay tuned for what's going to happen because it starts right now. So you guys can see here, second and fourth in this game. We're going to go ahead and come out with some inside uh, halfback draws, all right? Trying to go ahead and beat him. I noticed that the safety is down on this defense. Look at this. The safety is down, leaving X wide open over there. But the thing that what happened right here to X, I think I streaked him instead of fading him there. So on next play, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, mix it up a little bit. I come out with a draw, second and 21. And I'm going to come out in a halfback draw right here. But I'm keeping in mind uh, where he's putting that safety on the right side. Look at how low he is right there. That's a touchdown right there, X wide open. We get it, and we get a touchdown, 26-7. to 7. 
coming out in cover four over here, three three five defense. It comes out like in a little halfback draw. I don't know if I, I don't think I blitz the linebacker there. But if I they start coming out a lot of halfback draws, I will blitz the linebacker. So to stop the halfback draws, just to make them think twice of running it again. And actually, when you blitz the linebackers on the three three five, those guys come in there. You could actually get a nice little tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Look at this pick right here. He threw right at me. Took away that read and. We're ready to score another touchdown. Coming out inside zone, I believe this is bunch tight end. I got nice little blocking uh, crew over here on the left side of receivers. I think I moved the tight end to the left uh, spot over there that helped me get this touchdown. 26 to 14, guys. 14 unanswered points. We're in a roll right here. One minute left before the second half. See if we can stop him and try to get another touchdown. We're playing underneath coverage with the, the linebacker and the safety. So we're gonna lurk in the middle of the field. Nothing's open. We took all his reads away. He runs with Bortles and I was hoping he would fumble there. 30 seconds left in the clock. Lurk in the middle of the field. Oh, he doesn't get anything second down, second and 10. Once again, he decides to run this little fake over here, but we're playing pretty good a run defense. He doesn't get much. We got 26 seconds, third and six, playing underneath coverage, lurking in the middle of the field, taking away that read away. And I thought he got that first down. He did get that first down. 22 seconds left. It's, he, I don't want him to go into, into field goal range. So we did send the blitz there. We stop him and we get the ball back second half 26 to 14 coming on the halfback draw we're pushing it we're pushing it this time we come out in an inside zone out of the bunch tight end we're pushing it once again third and two and this time we're gonna come out in the stretch we're gonna go ahead and try and beat them there and we don't get anything oh man that's ridiculous now this is a recent right here guys coming out in trips tight end uh we need i, I don't like all ball man because you can't really pass and when you need it like this right here you know sometimes it's really hard to throw those passes it's really tight but we get the first down with the tight end coming out and have back draw out of the trips tight end and right there we're pushing it we're pushing it we're pushing it we get the first down we're pushing it right here i mean 14 unanswered point i'm fired up right now we're getting momentum going and we're keeping the momentum coming out inside zone just running down that's all we need is the first down give me that first down First down, there we go, we got it. Coming out, and look at the safety is down. Look at how, how low, why is he playing with the safety? That's a touchdown right there, guys. Right there, my receiver, I'm pretty sure he's tired here. Okay, so it didn't work. Now he moved the safety up there, so we're gonna go ahead and come out like a little run just to you know, make him think twice once again. I, you know, I know what he's doing. Look, he moves the safety down again one more time. X right here, wide open. He tries to manually guard it, and he gonna get there. No, he doesn't get there, but guess what? I got a secret. I put my fastest running back at the middle, wide receiver position. Like, look at this shit. He's running the same defense, and go ahead and try to guard me now. Touchdown. There we go. That's how you make adjustments on offense, guys. So we get the touchdown 21, 26, 21, and unanswered points, guys. We're lurking the field here with the defense end because we got stuck. He's trying to throw deep on a cover four beater. So we're going to have to adjust our defense and switch it up because I don't want to get beat deep there. So this time we're not pressing, but we're playing a cover four. So we're still in our run stopper. So we don't have to worry much about the run right now, but we have to worry about that cover four beater that he had there. So we're going to try to send the heat this time off the edge. We send it right there with Tampa 2, 26, 21. He punts the ball. So once I see this right here that he's punting, I basically have him on lockdown. I'm almost have, I almost have him on complete full defensive lockdown. And once you're in that mode where you lock your opponent down, you know that he ain't going to do shit. And all you have to do is just keep working it out. And so here we go. We're not giving up. Half back draw right here. We're going to go ahead and push it. And... You guys can see here coming out in again another halfback draw. You know, I'm just gonna make him think twice. Make him think twice. Now he's coming out in cover two. All right, there's no more cover three. Got him out of his defense. Got him out of his comfort zone. This time we're coming out fourth and two. We get to try to throw that pass, and again he jumps it. I hate, I hate all Madden. I hate all Madden, and this is the reason why. This is my second interception throwing that route. I'm not gonna throw it again in this game. But guess what? Let's go ahead and, and get that block shit there. Oh shit! He throws it to my defensive end. We get it, and we're gonna run it back for a touchdown, guys. We're up. 27 to 26 we try to get the two point ah we don't get it we stumble there 27 to 26 27 unanswered points and we're going into the fourth quarter we get that run nasty run stop and you ain't running the ball no more bro we got you on lockdown mr allen franklin we got you on lockdown we're gonna go ahead and lurk the middle of the field you guys can see he tries to run with Bortles. i hope he fumbles pretty soon and 
Here we go, locking the middle of the field. Oh, you're gonna throw those quick hikes to the tight end. That's a big mistake right there. Do not quick hike me. There we go, sending the heat this time. Second and 18, we're gonna look the middle of the field here. We're coming out in just regular max coverage, Tampa two, sending four players. We got that block shape going. He can't throw the ball. It's Bortles, bro. You can't throw the ball with Bortles. Don't give me an excuse that I was glitching the game out. Bortles is just freaking sorry. I played with the Jacksonville Jaguars already for like around two weeks. You know how many games I lost because Bortles cannot throw the freaking ball at all. So anyways, here we go. 27 to 26 in this game. What are we gonna do here inside zone? We're gonna go ahead and try to push it in, establish the run, uh, make him think twice, and this time we come out in a halfback draw. Oh, okay, we have to put conservative ball carrier just in case so we won't fumble, and there we go with a nasty run down the middle of the field. 34 to 26, let's finish this game on defense. We're playing underneath coverage with the safety. The screens are gonna, not gonna work against cover four, they're just not gonna work. So that is done there, he's coming across the field. Play action, we're gonna go ahead and take away that read, throw it straight at me, bro. Straight at me, that should have been a pick. Third and 12, as you guys can see here, uh, we're sending the heat, heat right there. Fourth and 12, he's going for it, that's it. Let's see, taking away that seam right there, give me that shit, we're gonna go ahead and run it back for another touchdown, guys. This is just insane, this is just total insanity, bro. 40, what's better than 26 unanswered points, guys? What's better? 40 unanswered points, that's what's better. Anyway, guys, hope you guys like this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Go check out manhustles.com. Uh, let me know if you guys need any help with any type of run defense, uh, any types of runs, especially in all Madden. If you guys are still playing on pro, guys, I got the passing game down packed as well. We'll see you guys later. It's your boy, Shaka Tuesday from manhustles.com. Don't forget to uh, join that online, um, that Madden Madness group. The link's in the description. Don't forget to uh, join Madness Secret Society. Link's in the description on Facebook. We'll see you guys later. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more. Bye.